Hi guys and welcome back to a new Romanian coder course. Splingo security is one of the topics that you guys seemed very interested in and I'm very excited to announce the new Spring Boot security course. And you will learn a lot of things in this course. First of all, you will grasp the basic security concepts that will help you understand how to configure Spring security. And although these episodes are a little bit theoretical, um, just refreshing these concepts will help you be better at Spring security. So we are going to learn about authentication and authorization. We are going to learn about HTTP basic authentication, forms authentication, token based authentication. So when to use each one of them, what are the differences between them. Uh, we are also going to learn about authorities and roles and SSL and HTTPS. Now, uh, don't get scared because uh, it's not going to be some academic episodes. It's just going to be, um, you know, a little bit of theory before we actually start to write code and configure security for our application. Now, if you are already familiar with these concepts, you can, you know, skip those episodes. Otherwise, just you know, navigate through them, you'll see that they will not be very long, nor very academical. Next, we are going to get our hands dirty and write some, some code. And we are going to understand how to configure security for a Spring Boot web application. We are going to start from, you know, an unsecure app, and then we are going to see how to add Spring security dependencies. We are going to create our own custom security configuration. We are going to configure Spring Security using Forms Authentication. We are going to create a custom login page. We are going to learn how to integrate security with Timeleaf, for example, for displaying the uh, currently signed in user or the user permissions or the user profile, things like that. And then we are going to use databases to actually store our users. So we are going to use our own database for that. And finally, we'll configure HTTPS for our Spring Boot application. So lots of code and it's going to be fun. And in the end, we are going to learn about token-based authentication and more specifically about uh, Java Web Tokens. Because, um, for example, if you have a, a backend, a REST API backend, and you have multiple clients like mobile apps, web apps, uh, desktop apps, etc., then you know, form-based authentication is not suitable for that scenario and you need token-based authentication. And we are going to spend some time to learn about you know, the dependencies that we need to use GVT and then how to configure GVT in Spring Boot. And after finishing this course, I think you'll have uh, learn, you'll learn the fundamentals of how to use Spring Boot security. Now, before we start this course, uh, there are a couple of things that you need to know. Uh, I will use Java 11. Now, if you're using Java 8 or an older version, most of these things will work. Uh, but, you know, just to follow along and uh, make it easy for you, you know, try to install the Java 11 SDK. I'm going to use the latest Spring Boot version as of today, which is 2.1. Now, by the time you watch this course, you know, maybe there will be a new a newer version, but uh, in other case, it should work and I'll do my best to update it. And of course, I'll use IntelliJ as my ID. Now, uh, there are a couple of things that, you know, I expect you guys uh, to have. First of all, you should be familiar with Java. So if you're not familiar with Java, then obviously this course might not be the first starting point for you. I also expect that you are familiar with Spring and Spring Boot, at least at a basic or intermediate level, because we are not going to take a deep dive into Spring Boot. We are going to focus on Spring Security, and I will assume that you have the basic concepts for developing apps with Spring Boot. Now, if you don't, then I have two great courses online, uh, Introduction to Spring Boot and uh, Intermediate Spring Boot, and you can access them by hitting the link uh, shown in this page. And the, the whole idea for this course is that we're going to start with no security. So we're going to take a default Spring Boot application, which is unsecure. 
and we will progressively build a functional Spring Boot app with different security configurations. So there is lots of coding ahead and like I said, it's going to be really, really fun. One thing that you should keep in mind is that security is not easy. You know, security is a very complex subject. There are multiple ways to configure security for your app. And I want you to know that, okay, I'm not a security expert and there are definitely um, there is definitely more to security and to Spring Boot security than you will learn in this course. But after following this course, you will have the foundations um, for learning new things. So you will know the you know elementary things and the building blocks of security and how it can be integrated with Spring Boot apps. And then based on your security needs, um, you will have what it takes to take your understanding to a whole new level. And I just want to sort this out because, you know, I'm being honest with you and you should know what, uh, and you should have the correct expectations from this course. Last but not least, all the source code is available on GitHub. And I try to split things up a little bit. So uh, in this repository, you will have, um, you know, a sub repository which contains the you know default Spring Boot application with no security installed, and that is going to be the starting point for this course. So you can just download it and follow along this course. And then also I'll have some checkpoints. For example, you'll have a repository for uh, form-based authentication. You'll have a repository for GVT tokens, uh, just to make things easier for you and um, you know to isolate things a little bit. Should you want to go back and uh, actually see the complete code. Now this link is going to be present in all the episodes in the description section. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.